for all them. Hello guys, Timothy here. I'm wearing the same shirt from cooking the rice video, which was two days ago and I haven't changed it since. I've been making ropes for two, three, three days straight. We had a crazy rope sale and I've been making ropes with Peter for two days straight. And it's all right because you guys can't smell anyway. And I, everyone, you know, I like the smell of my own musk. Besides the point, today's video we're talking about EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies. Now I bought this device, this little gadget on Amazon. It was about 160 pounds, and it's to detect uh, eat the electromagnetic frequencies, radiation from these electricity things, phones, Wi-Fi's, computers, microwaves, TVs, whatever. Right. I'm not here to debate whether it, they, are, they have zero effect on the body or they have an effect on the body. I suspect they do have an effect on the body. We are electrical beings. There's, just because you cannot see them, it exists in the environment. Now, people, there's scientists that say, you know, when you're, you're being hit with the EMFs, your body, I think, positively ionizes and this coagulates the blood, which stops it flowing as efficiently. Um, and then that's why people do things like grounding, where they stand barefoot on the earth to deionize, to negatively charge the body, to, to balance it out, to release all this stored uh, electricity and volts and you know, and so I've done videos in the past where I've showed earth in sheets um, and how that works. I didn't have one of these at the time. I was using my voltmeter, which actually is a different reading, but of the same, of that kind of shows you directly what volts is passing through your body. This isn't to do with my body. This is more to do with what's in the, in the air right now in the atmosphere. Um, and so we turn it on and we'll get a baseline. I've got the Wi-Fi on right now. Computer, phone's over there, and we're sitting it. I don't really know what the numbers mean, but you know, you, you know, the high, the red is gonna be nastier, the lower is gonna be softer and, and more gentle. And so we're sitting kind of like a nice orange, amber color, popping up to the threes. Um, that's, I guess that's gigahertz. So that's three gigahertz, which is like a million megahertz, or three million megahertz and we can drop right down here. So, um, that's just normal in the air. If we go over to the Wi-Fi router, I can turn the sound on so you can get audio feedback as well, that'll help. You can hear that clicking, it's kind of off the charts. Near the router, right, from the way. The clicking slowed down a bit. Just, yeah. You go near the computer. Just go up quite a lot, yeah, computer. I'm putting the wave neutral. I couldn't neutral over here, so I picked up my phone. Right. I'm gonna turn. Let's turn the Wi-Fi off. Let's do that. Sorry, Pete. Turn the Wi-Fi off. Okay. It's dropped down a lot. I'll turn the sound off, but it dropped down to amber. So Wi-Fi's off. Pick up the phone. The phone's on. Yeah, up to six off the charts, just being with the phone. Let me turn, I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off on the phone. And drop down a bit. So just turning Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off, it dropped down a bit, considerably actually. Um, now I'm gonna airplane mode the phone. So airplane mode in the phone, Dropped it right down. So below one when I airplane mode of the phone. So just that alone tells me, and since learning this, I've been far more proactive. If I'm just taking my phone to the shop, but I'm not necessarily on a call or anything, I will just put it in airplane mode. And if it's staying in with me, I'd rather leave it in the car, leave it at home if you can, you know, be off it. But at the same time, I've still got the habit of taking my phone with me most places. So about half the time, I'll pop it onto airplane mode. At least I'll turn Bluetooth and Wi-Fi off now every time, all day, unless I'm Bluetooth in music to the car, podcasts, um, I've got a reason I need to Bluetooth, that'll be on. I don't ever have Wi-Fi on actually at my house, I just plug the computer in directly, the cables directly in, so I don't actually use that router, router, router. Um, I just use 4G on the phone, and then I turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. So, but you can see that, just having your phone on you, airplane mode is a big difference. Now, what else I want to check is my bedroom, when I'm sleeping at night. Leave the phone, I'll bring the phone. So, it's, even with the phone in hand, and we're out of that, that uh, living space, 
it's dropped down, we can start to see some green happening now. So it's nice to know that the room is generally further away from electronics. Now I might throw the phone away. See where we're at. Cool, it kind of is pulsing. There's still some amber in the area. So we'll go to where my bed is, where my head is at night. So one thing with this test, it doesn't test for everything. I think it, it tests for three different things. Two radio types of radio frequency and, my, and one microwaves. I don't have a microwave in the house, thankfully. Um, not that I'd use it. I think it only really, really has an effect if it's on anyway, but still. There's other, there are other EMFs that this doesn't detect for. So there are more expensive devices you can get that detect for other things. There's something called, I think it's called dirty electrics or dirty electronics, which is to do with if there's electricity running through the wall, going into the plug, even if it's just running, it will pick it up. And I don't think this detects for that. So it's not a complete test. Um, we can try it now, actually. Yeah, so that did jump up a little bit in the moment of turning it on. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think this is the best test of four dirty electrics in the cable, but just to test. I, but that, because of that though, I do sleep with my bed out from the wall. I generally pull it out. It slowly moves back this way, but generally I don't have my head. I don't want you don't want to sleep, especially if you've got a plug by your bed. You don't want your head to be next to the wall because there's electricity running through the wall and it comes out. But where my head's at night when I sleep, I'm very happy with that. That's literally the best place in the house I've found. And I just, I already, this is how it was before I was here. Um, so, just in the green, low frequencies, low EMFs. But there's still some there, right? There's still some EMFs. And I'm, I've got a flat that side, I've got a flat that side. Luckily, I'm the, well not luckily, it was a conscious choice, but I'm the top floor, so I don't have someone above me. Below me is a, another room, is my second bedroom. So there's nothing in there emitting, but either side of me, I don't know. I think they're just other bedrooms, but I'm still sandwiched in. And there's, if you were to strip the walls, I always call it an electric box in the sky because there would just, you just see electricity cables and whatever. But I'm very happy that my bed is at least not the worst place to be. It's the best place to be in the house. Um, but essentially it'd be, I'm still in the city. There's still light pollution coming in. There's noise pollution or natural noise pollution, cars and stuff. Um, there's a lot to think about and you can drive yourself crazy if you're not ready for the for what it means about your life, what choices you have to make to become more conscious for your health, you know, you become more sensitive to this stuff. You have to make choices in alignment with that that are more in harmony with love, in harmony with God's truth, in harmony with nature. Um, so what this is telling me is the realization that at some point in the near future I need to get out reality of this place. But while I'm here, I've got a temporary solution that uh, is gonna, I'm gonna show you in the next video if you come see this. So this is just my reality, this is what I see, what I'm aware of. I'm not telling you to do anything to change your world, world off of this, I'm just presenting how I, what I see, what I observe, what I test, and then I make my choices and I'm free to, to do whatever I want with my choices. So that doesn't affect you. If you don't like my choices, that's cool. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. It, within here, I have got, I'm going to open it, I'm going to open it. Where's my opener? You've seen, my, oh, there it is. My 88 Olympics uh, letter opener. So, if you know Nikola Tesla, apparently he slept. Nikola Tesla slept and they called it a Faraday cage because of radio waves. He was, he didn't like radio waves alone at his point in time were enough for him to protect himself from, for him to feel that they, it wasn't healthy to exist in an environment with radio waves. Now we have no choice when you're born in this world. Radio waves exist in the air. You can't get away from it. Maybe certain islands, incredibly remote places you can get away, but they're being emitted all over the earth, basically. So, here we go. Some poles. And this is what I'm after. Right. This is, if 
bad boy. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. And we've got this sheet. Ground this sheet. And then this net. So in the next video, stay tuned. This is my home version of a Faraday cage to protect me from EMFs while I exist in a city best I can. This is what I'm going for. So stay tuned for the next video where I set this up around my bed. Cheers guys.